Hey guys, Julian from AccessoryGeeks.com here with the Samsung Droid Charge and we're going to do a 4G comparison test with the Samsung Epic from Sprint and the T-Mobile G2 on T-Mobile. So all three of these phones use a different type of uh, 4G technology. Uh, the Epic uses Sprint's WiMAX network, the Droid Charge uses Verizon's LTE while the T-Mobile my uh, excuse me T-Mobile G2 uses HSPA plus so what we're going to do is run the speed test to show you the types of speeds that these networks can pull down we are in Walnut California I'm going to run these tests right now and we are lucky to have 4G coverage on all these phones And uh, from my past trials, I've been noticing that the Droid Charge and the LTE network have been just incredible, um, pulling down speeds consistently over 10 megabits per second. Whereas T-Mobile and Sprint, as you can see here, with a network communication issue, uh, are a little slower. As you see on T-Mobile, we have about 3 megabits down. Right now, our Epic is still running pulling around two and a half, probably going to get up to three. So we can look at some historic results on these phones. As you see on the Droid Charge, all over 10, we even hit 20, 14, 13. And this is really good. Uh, if you uh, remember, we actually tested the HTC Thunderbolt right when LTE was launched. And that was pulling down 15, 16, even 20. And now, uh, about a month later, the Droid Charge is pulling down uh, similarly excellent speeds. So I'm pretty impressed with Verizon's LTE network. HSBA Plus, actually not too bad. Uh, all over around 2, 2 to 3. Some a little lower. And on Sprint, a little faster than T-Mobile, but um, not by that much, which is kind of surprising around three to four. So of course this uh, determines on where you are, um, the, this type of signal you get. So it's not a definitive test by any means, but this just shows you in an area that has 4G uh, on three different carriers, you're going to get some very different speeds depending on what type of phone you have and what network you're accessing. So stay tuned some for, for some more videos and remember that you got it from a geek.